Being a mobile detailer versus a detailer at a shop are two completely different worlds. At the shop, you are in control of your environment. It's cool, you're in your shade, in the shade, or you know you have AC, or you can take breaks. Being mobile, you have none of that. So in this video, I'll share with you two upgrades you can do to your van, to your setup, to your rig, to make you either more efficient or just to have less headaches on the job. And remember, upgrade when your business needs it, not just because you want it, not just because I'm saying, hey, get these two things or, or do these things. You're like, yeah, I should do that. No, once your business gets to that point, once you can justify the price, the cost, then go and do those upgrades. But if just because like you're just starting or you're thinking about starting, you don't need these upgrades. Wait until your business is at the right point to upgrade. So number one is going to be putting all the hoses or the ones that make sense on reels. So for us, we have a hose reel for the pressure washer hose. We have a hose reel for the vacuum hose and we have a uh, hose reel for the extractor. So we have three different reels. The extractor is around 30-ish, I think 32 feet. The vacuum is again around 30 feet. And the pressure washer is 50 feet. Oh, and I just forgot, we also have a hose reel for the air compressor, which is 50 feet. So we have four hose reels, which has which contains all our hoses. Like we don't have we no longer by hand and take out hoses. It's all on reels. It makes life way easier to just open the van, get whatever you're gonna get, let's say the pressure washer, and you just step back and you turn on the machine and you're ready to roll. You're, you're, not, you're not taking out the pressure washer, you're not like unkinking the hose or whatever. You just get there, you pull out the hose and you can get to work. It is, it's made life way easier. Like it just, it, it, the headaches and hassles of, you know, doing three, four cars in a day, and every single time you gotta oh, wind, you know, wind it down and, and take it down and put it back in and organize it. And you know, when you're mobile, after the you know, midday, to, you know, towards the end of the day, you, you're just throwing everything back in your van because you wanna go home, right? So you know, when you start off the day, it's nice and organized, like, oh, it goes right here. As the day goes on, you're like, okay, I'll, I'll just quickly put it back. By the end of the day, when you get back to the shop or, or to your home garage, um, you know, everything is just thrown everywhere because you're like, yeah, whatever, just throw it back in there. With the hose reels, you keep everything well organized. It's no hassle to just reel it in and reel it out. So it makes life much, much, much easier. Now I'm not gonna go into the specifics of like which one exactly we're using. Check the description box down below for any links, but I'll cover another video like what hose reels we have for this and where we purchase that and yada, yada, yada. But these are just to give you the overview of, you know, you should upgrade that. The next thing that I recommend is where you can, when necessary, right, when your business gets at a point, try to make, um, go cordless, right? So meaning like not, you don't have a cord to power it, it's battery powered. So for us, we have a battery powered polisher. Savage, that's another one. That's like, Dave Savage is just pure exotic. Like you got an exotic, you're in. Like period, you gotta do nothing to it. Uh, oh, that's an easy cop out though. Huh? That's an easy cop out. Like, yeah, I got an exotic. Yeah. Like, all right, bro, like, you went, to, you went to the dealership. From AutoZone, it's like $150. But we primarily, like, yeah, we primarily use it just to apply the wax and sealant. That's all we use it for, not for correction, none of that. It's just to apply the wax or sealant. We have a battery powered Ego Power Plus blower. And that's again to dry, to dry the vehicle and such.
So wherever you can, over time, try to go more and more cordless. So like for us, we're gonna get a cordless vacuum. It's not gonna be a primary, like we're gonna use this cordless vacuum to you know, vacuum up the whole interior. That's why we have you know, the dedicated vacuum and hose reel. But then more so of like, if we're wrapping up the vehicle and oh look, we made a mistake. We forgot this little area here. We gotta vacuum it. Instead of turning on the generator, pulling up the hose reel, you know, walking to the vehicle. Instead, we just go into the van, get the vacuum cleaner, go over there, get it, get that little spot, and then done with the day, right? Or done with that specific job. So when then, when, you know, over time though, don't, don't, because one, that battery power stuff is, is costly. So as time progresses, go cordless where you can, right? So we have the, like I said, the um, battery power polisher, the blower, um, the, dr the, the, br the, the drills. Um, because I used to have the Grits Garage six inch polisher and I would put a carpet attachment on that. But over time I upgraded to just a drill with a brush on it. So wherever you can, you know, make that, um, that, that upgrade. We also have the uh, SPTA uh, mini polisher, that's battery power. So we will get like like a few flex um, a flex, flex polishers that are battery powered as well. And over time, again, we're just, we're just gonna keep on getting more and more battery powered things. There's pros and cons to both, but being a mobile detailer, so especially being a mobile detailer, I'd say it would help to have certain things being battery powered. And my battery literally about to die, so I made this video really quick. So if you check out the description box down below for the links, you can also find my podcast, the Detailing Business Class Podcast, link down below, the Detail Group Facebook Training Group, and anything else I'm working on or associated with, it'll be down in the description box. All right, talk to you on the next one.